Okay, good morning. Thursday, 6th of September. Right here from Grigorica, something like that. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name of this town. But, uh, well, we're here. Just going to have breakfast in the uh, guest house over there now, and then we'll be in a minibus up to the Nomad Games. So it should be a good day today. It'll be interesting to see uh, what's going on up there. Hey, lots of things about uh, horse riding and uh, all kinds of things. <laughs> and uh, dancing and music and uh, yeah so uh, let's go see what's going on we'll be going to have breakfast now and talk to the other guests over there so uh, see what's happening okay, start the day with a fresh baked bread it's even still warm <laughs> perfect I've just been talking to the lady that uh, runs this uh, place here. And the more we, the more we uh, talk to her, the more interesting this place becomes. But uh, she actually runs this place here in the summer, so in a few weeks it will close down. And uh, she actually goes back to Holland and uh, works there for the winter time, and then comes back here in the summer time. This is a project that she's had in mind for a few years. So, uh, and, uh, she actually runs this place here just to try and uh, generate some income for the, the people around here and then in the, especially in the street she just starts off at street level helping the people out in the street here they all get involved and help out in the kitchen and uh, driving people around in taxis and also as we're doing we're staying at the neighbor's house so that helps them out so it's a kind of way to to uh, help the community here. She also teaches uh, children English here in the afternoon and they get a chance to learn English and also talk to the guests. So it's a way of uh, she can teach them English, she thinks that uh, it helps them and broadens their horizons. So uh, yeah, she's got lots of good ideas. She's a really interesting person to talk to. And then uh, in the winter time, she's back in Holland. She uh, works in an engineering company and she actually works for the uh, to restrict the social impact of some of the engineering projects like this morning she was telling us about a project in Sierra Leone where there's a, a dam and the engineers they're trying to optimize everything to get more and more uh, water in the dam because the higher the dam the more energy they can create but the problem is that uh, the higher the dam the more uh, area of land is flooded and actually this area of land this is what the, the locals used to they actually pan for gold and uh, and other minerals from the rivers there and that's their source of income so if they uh, flood the whole area it means the local people they uh, lose their income so she kinds of fights <laughs> for the social impact of this company it's an extremely interesting person that's uh, the lady down there you can see standing against the wall jacobina from holland so yep extremely interesting place extremely per interesting person with some great ideas to try and uh, help uh, small communities like this so now we're in the minibus here, on the way to the gorge. Okay, now we arrived in uh, Kirchin Gorge here. This is a location, or another location for Nomad Games. And after my opinion, this is a much more fitting location. Let's go and have a look what's going on here. Today is the 6th of September. So what's happening here? Ordo. No idea what that is yet. Let's go and have a look at that. And a lot of uh, archery we're going to see. Horseback archery and uh, shooting. So uh, should be interesting. Okay, let's go and have a look. Okay, so the rules of this are quite simple. The horse is running at full gallop. They have to hit uh, three targets, one facing the horse, one to the side, and uh, one facing to the rear.
Yeah. Man, but this is real. <laughs> to be able to, or hopefully soon, getting one of these stakes, which is something we haven't seen for a long time. Let's see if we're lucky or not. here in the kind of valley kind of thing yeah and today yeah it has been a good day and we have been round and round some different some different places here we have first we was going first here we was playing like they was taking stone and hit a uh, other stone and maybe that was a funny game here and also we have seen some uh, con when is your concert horseback archery horseback archery we also have seen and we also have seen concert mm, yeah but that wasn't a big success no not the biggest success it's been a little bit hot this afternoon and there's nowhere at all to get in the shade really there's a few chairs but they were taken up already and uh, i couldn't work out where to get the lunch from <laughs> So, and we've walked and walked and walked and walked and walked and now we're just not good at walking. We're good at biking but not walking, so now we're all tired. <laughs> so, and there's not many, uh, there's not much information really to tell you what's going on and where is it going on. It's just a bit, uh, yeah, unorganised, but never mind. We had a nice walk around and saw lots of uh, eagles and different horses and things like that. Yeah, and camels and donkeys, so yeah, we have seen animals today. <laughs> I think that was the biggest suicide. <laughs> not, much, uh, not really much sport going on here. The horseback archery is about the only thing we saw. The rest of it is just cultural things and uh, yurt tents and this kind of thing. So. But never mind, we've been here now. Nice place anyway, it's a really nice location. But, uh, yeah. We're never in the house here she just made bread here yeah, fresh bread <laughs> and see it's nice when we come back from the nomad games yeah. mm -hmm. 